what's going on guys welcome back to the channel guys i know i have a lot of explaining to do i know a lot of you guys are probably wondering what happened to the youtube videos guys so today i'm going to explain everything as you guys see the title i picked up a new car i hope you guys are excited about it as i am i know some of you guys are probably going to be disappointed as well but guys let's jump right into the video and let me show you guys what i picked up so let's jump right into it all right guys so the first thing i'm gonna do guys and i'm gonna show you guys the key so the key is gonna give everything away so boom this is the key guys and as you guys can see hit that twice this is the car da guys so this is a cold start of the car guys right, so this is the car i picked up a 2021 Dodge Charger wide body scat pack. That's freaking long to say. <laughs> but as you guys can see, I already have some mods done. The taillights are blacked out. Got some tin on here. Guys, I know a lot of you guys are probably disappointed or might be mad at me that I picked this up. But yeah, guys, so this is the car. And this color is called Smoke Show as well, as you guys can see in the front. It's a scat pack. But let me get to the spot, be able to show the car more. So let's hop in the car and go this is the car again this is a 2021 dodge charger wide body scat pack as you guys can see this color is called smoke show it looks like a grayish kind of a light light gray color as you guys can see i'm gonna do like a little walk around as you guys can see the wheels were upgraded these five spoke design wheels i'm show you guys the other upgrade as well how the back looks it's like that to how the interior looks it's got red so the red interior was an upgrade as well with the red seats and you guys can see the scat pack logo so that's pretty nice they got some red stitching inside the interior as well looks really nice in here looks very uniform also got to show you guys the back seats the back seats red in the back got some red stitching up here looks nice got some red stitching on the side all in the back got heated seats back here as well too and you got two usb ports which is pretty nice for when it's warm outside got extra cup holders right there pretty nice pretty nice definitely got a lot of space back here guys this is pretty nice. I like how they did the red stitching up here as well. And then this whole thing is kind of like a push, a plus kind of uh, dashboard. And this is 392 right there with the little, uh, looks like a B, a bumblebee with wheels and tires. And looks like it's doing a burnout. It's pretty dope. You can see like the four little cylinders coming out of it. That's pretty dope. So, yep. Added some weather tech mats in here too, guys, all around. Even the rear has some. Got some weather tech mats. I know you guys probably seen that already. And then let me show you guys the trunk if you hit this button. It lifts up. Got plenty of space back here. Yep, man. Some you could definitely throw some on back here. Gotta get on your bad side. You got another WeatherTech mat. And you have your little luggage for your spare. But you know, these new cars, they don't come with spare tires no more. Get it. It's a little hook. You can hook that thing up here as well. So, yep, it just comes with that little air pump. You know, lock and stuff. So, bro, man, this car looks menacing on the road. Especially with this wide body kit on it crazy how far it sticks out this car looks especially this front bumper too this thing looks menacing with the hood scoop and everything so if you guys don't know this is a v8 hemi has 485 horsepower it's pretty dope definitely got a lot of power um, as soon as you hit it um the things that's also there's also one more other thing too that i gotta upgrade so the wheels are upgrade the red interiors are upgrade and then the upgraded sound system 
and this sound system sounds pretty good the Harman Kardon so that's pretty dope and I think it comes with like 19 speakers something crazy like that which is pretty dope but yeah so only mods is done to this car is the tent um, and I believe it's five percent on the back 15s on the side you can probably see it inside of it a little bit and then five percent strip at the top it looks like that I guess because of the window it's curved and the tail lights are blacked out I can't lie these tail lights on these dodge chargers looks pretty sick as you guys can see the whole thing lights up at nighttime so this whole thing is blacked out the reverse light still open the brake light still open so you can see that perfectly but it kind of looks like eyes on the back which is pretty dope we already upgrade the led bulbs as well guys so let me see if i can unlock the car does it come on might have to turn it on to show you guys so yep there it goes it comes on and these are upgraded to leds looks like that matches those day running lights on the dog charger those look pretty aggressive but car looks sick let me get you guys some revs <laughs> got some of those little revs of the people don't call the police on me over here in the whole park but guys it comes with these big uh two uh piece rotors in the front and i believe the rear it comes with these big brembos in the front as well for the scat pack and it comes in red i believe you can pick colors and it says srt on there and then the car comes with that muffler too which is pretty dope because it kicks up a lot of rocks against that rear fender piece so that's pretty dope even the rear looks like this guys this is srt and this painted red it looks pretty good well the rear is not two-piece guys let's see that now it's not two-piece but yeah these uh forelli's um uh, pirelli's looks pretty nice and this upgraded wheel looks sick as well very concave as you guys can see so got a black wing not super aggressive but a nice little touch for the rear it looks dope and i like this bumper too this bumper is uh um, got some rare vents as you guys can see it has holes back there you can see like right through it yep and the air goes right back there through the bumper which is pretty dope as well so that's pretty dope but yeah man family size v8 sedan it's a definitely a sick looking car but let me show you guys the interior and let me get out of here before they call the police and your boy be like look at this guy so i'm gonna show you guys some of the features in here so it's hot outside too so the red door looks sick so boom we get in here you got the Dodge logo on the steering wheel, which is pretty dope. You got this head unit right here. Got your two vents. Got a vent over here. It's pretty dope. You got your lights in the corner right here. Auto dim. Park lights. You got that 392 badge I was telling y'all about. And then you still got your vent over there. And then inside here with the red guts. Looks nice. I like the Alcantara in the middle. Definitely a nice touch instead of it being full leather. That's definitely a nice touch. So, as you guys can see, it goes up to 180 miles per hour. It is an automatic, guys, but you can put it in manual mode. You could drop it down and then slide it over here into manual. And then you can shift up and down. You also got paddles up here you can shift as well. Pretty nice. This uh, entertainment system is pretty nice. You got your climate. So, you got rear front and heated seats and you got cooled as well. So you can do your force the front, your feet, just your feet, the, the front windshield and then your feet. And then you could do controls. You could do a vented seat. So look, you got air cool seats. 
you got heated as well and you got heated wheel so the winter time stuff like that this whole wheel will be heated which is pretty nice that's pretty dope thing could be heated and keep you warm um go back to the controls passenger side also has this thing um you also have this mirror dimmer feature basically <clears throat> But basically guys, if you take that mirror dimmer off, I know you could go into settings and change it in here and change some of the features and stuff like that. But there's a feature it feature when you put it in reverse, you can um when you put it in reverse, the the side mirrors will go down and point toward the bottom of the wheel, which is pretty sick. So you don't mess your wheel up. So that is pretty sick. You got your front to blow air, rear to blow air. You got your stereo system, your controls, like I just showed you guys. They got apps and stuff that you could uh, to mess around with. You could mess around with the different modes. This car has different modes. Performance page. Let me see here the performance page. Show you guys that. Let's go to the SRT. And then there's also a button as well for drive modes down here that you can hit too. But you can do your shift light. You could do active line locks. You could do a burnout. They got race options. You could do line lock, launch control, shift light. So you could do launch control. You could set it to what RPM you want and then hit the button. And then they'll tell you to apply brake and then gas. And then it will hold the RPMs if you want a 2000 RPM. And then get off the, hold down the gas, get off the brake. And then it will, of course, do the launch and bust off, which is pretty sick. So you got that. You got auto which is already a mode then you got track which when you do track you turn off uh, uh stability control and all that stuff turns off you do sport and then you have custom and then with custom you could set whatever you want you could set your transmission to track your paddle shifters will be on your traction will be street suspension track steering wheel sport you can mess with all that stuff you can set whatever you want things like that Dang, do I gotta leave? I guess I gotta leave because uh, my homeboy is coming. Oh, okay, I was gonna leave. My homeboy pulling up over here. I was like, what the? He came out the cut. I'm looking down there. I see somebody pull up on me. I was like, well, what's going on? Okay, he's gone. So my man's about to pull the uh, pistol out. So yeah, they got all these different uh, settings. So I guess you could customize. You could click on one and then change it. As you guys can see, trans to be track, sport, street. If I want the paddles to be on or off, do I want traction to be track, sport, or street? Do I want suspension to be track, sport, or street? Then you got steering could be track, sport, or street, which is pretty nice. Of course, you don't want that traction to be in, in track, man. They turn everything off. You'll be doing burnouts here, lighting up the whole tire, smoking up the whole street. So that is pretty dope. Nice little neat settings. You could connect your phone. You got all your little settings. You could change, they got like little settings to change the background and stuff like that. You could choose like the little Hellcat logo if you wanted to, which is pretty nice. Definitely different. I'll show you guys the two heated seats controls in the back. The two USB ports already. That looks pretty nice. You got your little glove box compartment. It got like a little light down there, which is pretty nice. You got your book in there. I like how they have like this little kind of like Alcantara feeling cloth inside the glove box. It's pretty dope. So close that up but this whole dashboard is definitely different kind of gives you like a old school muscle kind of feel to it for this dash it's really a big sticks out it's bulky um then you guys got your shifter i'm sure you guys that comes in like this kind of like texture kind of stuff up here then you got this thing that says dodge uh brothers design detroit right here i don't know if you guys can see that and then this is how the pedals look guys no more clutch you got your uh brake emergency brake right here <sighs> gotta say goodbye to that clutch man oh no more clutch pedal you got your brake your gas one thing about the v8s that is pretty dope what motor i got in i still see that uh that traction control is still light up okay cool let me put in sport because i'm trying to live and sport it turns it off let's go back to custom i want to see another day all right cool so we're in custom right now but guys one thing about a v8 a v8 is definitely different compared to a four cylinder guys one thing i noticed about a v8 right off the back like let me show you guys this 
you tap that gas, the whole car shakes. Like, like you see, like me, the whole camera's rocking. Y'all can see it a little bit, right? Definitely, I can't lie. This is a nice car. I really, this car is really dope. I like it. Got your cup holders here. I'll show y'all the cup holders in the back. Got some little, got some water right here. It's a really dope. You got your cigarette lighter up here. You can store some stuff up here. Really dope, 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 dope car. So I like it. Mirror and all, but we're about to go for a little uh, drive. I don't know. They must have called the police on your boy. I don't know what's going on. Dang, my boy dropped his phone. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, the headliner is black. It's like a cloth material, guys. Pretty nice. Nice. I like how it's black, all black in here. Even the corners are black. I love like when they do like the whole interior, the headline stuff black. It kind of makes it here a little bit more darker and stuff like that. I kind of like that more compared to like the agent aside. It's gray, a brownish tan, brownish tan, brownish tan. All of this stuff is blacked out, which is pretty dope. Um, yeah, guys. So let's go on a drive. Let me show y'all experience with this v8 is definitely different than any other car that i've experienced a v is definitely different than a four cylinder for sure oh i didn't even know they got lights back there that's pretty dope i like how they did the design on that they put it like right behind the uh little hand holder that's pretty sick if you guys see that back there but the steering wheel is really nice i really love the si have these perforated holes as well i really like that it's it's really dope got a nice grip to it so Let's jump on a GoPro and go for a little drive, guys. But this interior is sick, guys. Comment below if you guys like this interior. It's definitely different, man. Guys, I'm glad to be trying something new, guys. And I also got an announcement for you guys at the end as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video. But guys, if you guys like the video, definitely hit the like button. I know a lot of y'all are probably gonna hit the dislike and be like, bruh, you got rid of your car for this. But let's jump into the GoPro video and just do some driving so I can show you guys that experience about this v8 guys sometimes you got to try something a little bit different and new guys you guys everything can be hondas and stuff like that man sometimes you got to grow up got to get something a big boy car something try something different guys so guys if you guys made it to the end of the video definitely hit the like button also guys i have to tell you guys something as well if you guys waited to the end of the video i have to tell you guys this was all a joke i would not trade in my two cars for a v8 no way especially not a snack pack as well why would i do that of course guys i still got the type r guys the type r will definitely smoke the scat pack we all know that we know especially with it the car being tuned as well with full bolt-ons this car definitely smoke the scat pack so guys this is actually my brother's car my brother's 20 years old this is his first car that's crazy i know right his first car he gets a v8 i know these kids man lucky so i still got my agent honda civic si and i got my type r but yeah this is my brother's new car as well guys so guys if you guys like this video on the 2021 dodge charger scat pack hit the like button um, it's a pretty dope car. I definitely see why this is like the new Honda Civic. Everyone is buying one of these. This car is, I see the reason why it's very comfortable to drive. It has the power, definitely for 400, it has 485 power, definitely plenty of power. It is a boat. These those seats are very comfortable to be driving on a daily basis. The car does sound good, it has a little bit of pops and stuff like that. So I definitely understand why people get like uh, muffler deletes and stuff like that because it definitely. Uh, needs to be waking up just a little bit but this car is definitely a sick car but that's it guys if there, that's it that's the end of the video thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button subscribe for more content and have a nice day peace